Can't thank you enough for getting rid of those. My friend told me the cult's been making drugs out of the old brewery for years. I never believed her, but with everything that's happened lately, I think she was right. Let's go. 
I've ever I played. I spent years searching. They don't survive. I was a rat to the knees. All the time. <laughs> the same wedge of rancid cheese. My father was the first person who helped me realize there is a world beyond the maze. This game's awesome. You can play with your friends. It doesn't take. It doesn't devour. Damn, I can it's build my own weapons. Gives. Love. It's a world that welcomes you with open arms. I'm not searching anymore. I'm here to share his word. Come see the world beyond the game. Let you build your own levels. This is fantastic. There's new stuff added all the time. We're hearing reports of cult boats moving in and out of the Drubman Marina. That must be how they're moving their drugs around the county. I love that. Should be our next target. Those Peggy bastards stole all our gas. They drained these here reservoirs and filled their tankers. So I need you to steal one and bring it back here. Just got word that there's one parked at the old diner down the road. If we're gonna rebuild, we gotta reopen these pumps. We'll keep the truck stop safe. You bring back that sweet, sweet gas. Where those freaks are hiding now. You gotta try this. Just the best game. Remember. How you making out, cowboy? How are you? Order is erupting all around us. Know what I'm saying? Okay, call 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 me Tweak. I'm technically Aaron, but we don't need to be talking about official forms of ID, do we? Do we? No, 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 I didn't think so. You uh, don't look cultish. In fact, you have a distinct 
antique called Vibe. I, I, I think, hey, do, you, you know, I've been working on something for people like, like you who are taking on the, 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 the cult. You know, top secret, very hush-hush. I consider myself something of a professional amateur chemist, and I've got uh, recipes that will make you harder, better, faster, and stronger. Hey, da, 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 no, 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 don't, 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 don't think of them like, 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 like drugs, but, but like performance enhancers. You like the sound of that? Thought so. Oh, but small snake, my, my, my supplies are low, so I'm gonna need some more special ingredients. I, I go myself, but uh, uh, kind of busy here. If you're interested, find the goods, then, then meet me at Prosperity. Okay, it's a little town southeast of here. Shifted weather patterns were facing fire season. This farmland lies bare and the surrounding countryside dries up. The state fire marshal cautions that everyone must be careful. Hope you drive better than you shoot. That was a joke. Working on my people skills. Eden's gate has full control of the roads near the Henbane River. They own this place. I'm locked and loaded. I don't know where these angels come from, but my sister-in-law thinks they might come from Nolan's fly shop. She says she saw people go in and angels come out. Roadblock, be careful. That could have been better. No surviving a hit like that. Close to something the cult didn't want found. They're at the Jessup place, you know, with all that old sciencey stuff. They came screaming at me, waving their guns. 
I ain't ashamed to say I ran. Trouble must come, let it come in my time, so that my children can live in peace. Shit. That wasn't too bad. went to secret skies when they were little. <laughs> Welcome to the bliss. I know you've heard stories about me. That I'm a liar. A manipulator. <laughs> that I poison people's minds. Well, 
Let me tell you a different story. A true story. There once was a young woman who had been ostracized by her community. Bullied by friends. Abused by her family. She took to a needle for help. She was all alone. She wanted to die. And then she met the father. <laughs> he gave her hope and confidence. The father showed her how special she was. She was full of love and life. He gave her a new family, one that accepted her just as she was. The young woman no longer wished to die. She had been given. One day, the father brought her here. He asked if she had faith in him. He asked if she would be willing to die for him. The young woman who very much wished to live was scared. The father told her this was her task. She would have faith in her if she had faith in him. So she closed her eyes and left. <laughs> the father kept his word. The path to Eden is clear to those who have faith. Walk the path. You must have faith. Let go. This is Virgil Minkler speaking. Anyone looking for refuge, come to the Hope County Jail. We have beds and food here. Do you feel different? Do you feel alive? The first step is always the scariest. But we all have faith in you. Follow the pilgrimage. Walk the path. I'll see you soon. Throwing themselves at these walls for days. Just won't let up. Alright. 
Kicked open a hornet's nest. Trucks on the road! Damn it! Mallory! Brooke, I need you up on that wall! Rogers, there's an Arkweller somewhere inside. Footy was using it last. Get on it. You're with me. Let's start collecting scrap. You have to pull the doors off some of the cells? Do it! Now hop to! We ain't got much time. Any problems? No. A couple of the Peggy scaled the wall, but we got him. Door. That doesn't look too bad. You'll be all right. Just keep pressure on it. You know, I was going to retire last year. I was worried I'd get bored. Are you gonna introduce us, or we're just gonna stand around here all awkward and shit? Language! Oh, fuck off, Virgil. Not today. I have told you, a vulgar mind is a sign of... You're not wearing your button! No, I'm not wearing it. I'll need a casualty report. We're, we're cougars! We're really not. Look, I'm wearing my button. The sheriff is wearing his button. This person... I'm sorry, who is this? This is one of my deputies. I thought you said your deputies were taken. No, well, this one wasn't. Been giving Eden's Gate a hell of a time from what I hear. That's so. Well, I hope you plan on pitching in. No room for freeloaders. <laughs> oh, Tracy's all right when she gets to know you. She's right about the work, though. There's plenty to be done around here. Just ask around. Good to have you back, Rook. Okay, then. Nice seeing you. This is not I'm gonna be I'm honest. Be never thought I'd see arm. you again. This After the crash, I... I just remember fog. Then walking in a field. Then I saw her. You've seen her too, haven't you, Rook? Whatever she says, whatever she promises, it's a lie. Stay away from her, you'll end up just like the Marshal. The bliss. It makes you forget. It makes you feel free. 
You just want to stay there forever. But it isn't real. None of it. If Virgil and Tracy hadn't found me, I'd still be out there, swimming in a sea of bliss. A prisoner in my own head. Those two saved my life. These cougars, they're good people, but they're hanging on by a thread. We gotta help them, Rook. No one else will. One last thing. We had a doctor. Well, a veterinarian, but he's doing his best. Guy went missing a couple hours ago. Don't know why, don't know how. But keep an eye out for him, would you? How you doing, hon? My daddy... Hey, girl. You did a great job with the jail. Who'd have thought the old prison would become a holdout for the resistance? <laughs> Your sheriff seems to know what he's doing, though. Tracy, I've seen around. Mostly keeps to herself. And Virgil, well, he's Virgil. I don't care much for politicians. Do what you can to help him out. I'll be in touch. Hey, deputy. Can we talk a minute? We got one big job around here, and that's to stop Faith. She took everything from me. My job, my marriage, even my son. All because of that bliss. You're one of us now. A cougar. We're a team that helps each other, and I need your help right now, deputy. You know about our water treatment plant? The cult took it and started pumping it full of bliss. You believe that? Right into the drinking one. What kind of monster does that? Well, she's not getting away with it any longer. I tell you straight, we're gonna shut it down fast. What do you say? The fact that the mismatch affects people here is a good thing. You be a lot more quiet out here. Peggy's have had heavy guns, right. guns all along. We got rifles and shotguns. People out here could really use your help, deputy. Time to get to work, Rook. Last two days, we've had a few people go missing. Only from what we can tell, they weren't lost in the bliss. There's been rumors of some place run by Faith's favorites. The kind of place nobody comes back from. Torture, drownings, sacrifices. People say anyone who doesn't walk Faith's little pilgrimage winds up there. I think we got a real problem on our hands, and I need someone to check it out. Someone who can handle themselves if it turns out to be more than just stories. Be careful, Rook. Hmm. Heard you were involved in that big fight at the jail. Nothing beats Montana's guys. Even Faith can't spoil that. These, though. That'll be the key to sustainability Hello. after things go to shit. Can't grow nothing without seeds. A job is what rookie i got a job you're gonna like hey sorry about before wasn't cool ask anyone here i do tough really good but the rest well i'm working on it so restart welcome you'll like the team we got everyone's strong and we need to be with what's beyond those walls i hope earl's right about you we've all been trying to figure out how to crush eden's gate you ask me, it starts with Faith. At least that's what she's calling herself these days. You seen that giant statue on the hill? Of course you have. You can't miss it. Good old Joseph Seed, the father. Faith had her groupies build that concrete eyesore for her sick pilgrimage. You seen them? Those sad fuckers marching their way to that statue? It's horrible. We gotta tear down that statue. Let all those Peggies know their father ain't no fucking god. He's just a man. What do you say, Rook? Go drive a big fuck you size hole into that thing. The Peggy's don't give a Where's shit about decent? conservation. They'll shoot anything with a heartbeat. I don't know if Would you see a floating back. woman? That's yeah. fake. Can't 
tell if the flowers are dying here or if my mind's playing tricks on me. Man, then come on over. I was about to put on some tunes. Have a BBQ. I am Charlemagne Victor Beauchamp. Now, if you require more brevity in your day-to-day -day life, you can just call me Sharky. Welcome to the Disco Inferno, man. It's my special place where I can just be me, without the prying eyes of my PO, or witnesses, or law enforcement types such as yourself. Here is where I am free to unleash my fire and mayhem in a pants-free, consequence-free environment. I have pants on now, yes, but who knows what the next half hour, 45 minutes hold. Got a sweet ass sound system rigged for 110 decibels of the hottest music ever created. Every time I crank it up, man, those dipshit cult angels, they just come running, and I can't tell if they love it or hate it, but I'm telling you, it sure is fun to melt their faces off. And don't worry, man, the angels, they's already brain dead. I'm just giving them a glorious send off to disco heaven, man. You want to help? It's good fun, man. I promise not to tell anyone. We don't even have to wear pants or nothing. I supply the music, and I use the flamethrower to make them dance, and you use your, um, I don't know, whatever it is you got. Let's just burn this mother down.
That was fun. Man, I wish all cops were cool like you. What can I say, amigo? You and me, we got chemistry. We're like, we're like a freaking team. All right, get back out there, man. Call me next time you're taking on the angels. Why do you suppose we form friendships? I believe it's fear. My cousin said she overheard some cultists talking about Dead Man's Mill. They think the cougars hid supplies behind the waterfall. Well, still breathing. surviving a hit like that.
Thanks, Deputy. I thought I was a dead man. Where's my bag? Shit! I lost my bag! Uh, thank you for saving me. My name is Dr. Charles Lindsay. I'm part of a group pulled up south of here at the old gym. Smoke. Faith and her angels have been trying to get to us for days. I was out here looking for a way to stop them when the cult took me. I think I found a way to bait the angels, but the ingredients for the bait are in my bag and the cult food in the pond. And I... I can't swim. I know, I know who can't swim. I need you to go get it for me. Saved all our lives. Seriously. S sorry, my name's Charles. Everyone calls me Doc, but I'm not... I'm not that kind of doctor. I'm a veterinarian. But right now, I guess I'm the resident ER doctor. <laughs> Stitching up bullet wounds is a lot different than delivering cabs, that's for goddamn sure. Sorry, doesn't matter. Here's the deal. I stumbled on something that seems to attract the angels. Which means we could herd them. I went out to try a field test, but things went sideways. Fucking cult. I'm missing ingredients, and if I stay out here, I'm just gonna wind up dead. I have to get back to the prison. Can you help me? I've got the list of stuff I still need. If you could find them, we may actually have a chance at surviving.
there. You must be dizzy. So many roads to choose. What to believe, who to help first. What to trust. When you find the path, you'll see clearly. Come with me and I'll show you. Not a good spot. There's a huge Peggy stash deep inside the old Bright Warden health mine. We're talking guns, ammo, stuff we need. Feels like we're constantly running low on supplies. I think we should take theirs. 